Hey everyone, it's Merlene here with Savory Thoughts at SavoryThoughts.com. I am so excited to share with you one of my favorite Cajun turkey recipes. So let's get to it. Okay friends, so this is AJ's favorite time of the year. This is the time where we all gather together and eat some delicious food. So I thought it would be a great idea to share with you one of our favorite baked turkey recipe and that's this Cajun turkey recipe. So to begin we are starting off with melted butter and adding in the dry spices. This is to include already made or you can use store-bought Cajun seasoning. By the way guys the full recipe is on our website at savorythoughts.com. And to give it an extra twist, we are also adding in dried cumin. Give it a quick stir. You know me with my quick stirs. So give it a quick stir. Make sure it's well combined. And also guys, we are adding in the butter because this will allow the seasoning to infuse itself better into the meat while it bakes. And also provide an extra crispy layer on the outer skin. Using a pastry brush, go ahead and apply the seasoning base to the turkey. And as you can see, we are using turkey parts for this recipe as opposed to a full turkey. However, if you choose to use a full turkey, that's perfectly fine. On our website at savorythoughts.com, we also share the full recipe as well as roasting time if you are to choose to cook a full turkey. But if you want to bring in something different to the table this Thanksgiving year, go ahead and use turkey parts. If you are wondering if the spice is spicy, it is not spicy. It, um, it has a hint of kick, but it's not spicy. You will notice all of the bold, delicious flavors. And by the way guys, I also forgot to mention that the butter is also added in. It will also provide that extra juiciness that we all love in our turkey. When you are done applying the seasoning to the meat, allow it to marinate for 24 hours if you can, but at least a minimum of 30 minutes. When you are ready to start roasting go ahead and transfer the meat in a preheated oven at 450 degrees and bake it for 20 minutes after 20 minutes remove the turkey and cover it with aluminum foil reduce the temperature to 350 degrees and continue baking for an hour and 30 minutes As you can see here, the little indicator has popped out. That's letting me know that my turkey breast is done. However, I am not stopping here. So we are applying one tablespoon of unsalted butter and we're going to put it back in the oven and allow it to cook just a few more minutes so that the skin can be extra crispy. Once you are done, remove the turkey from the oven sit it aside let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes and serve with your favorite mashed potatoes or collard greens or any of the sides of your choice and that's pretty much it guys if you want to bring in something special and something delicious and something with a twist i definitely recommend that you try this delicious oven roasted cajun turkey recipe trust me you will not be sorry it's extra juicy so Guys, thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. We absolutely love seeing your comments and seeing you pop up here in our feed. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell as we post new videos weekly. Cheers.